pretty sure a lot of you guys are wondering where should I be spending my 12 attempts between world 3 all the way to world 9? And the answer to that is very, very simple because there's only one right answer. It does not f***ing matter. Subscribe! The Reddit system in Hongkai Starbucks is absolutely atrocious and you're probably just gonna end up getting dog sh relics anyways. So genuinely, you could be farming World 3 to World 9 and you're just gonna get dog sh anyways. Right? You're basically farming for relic experience. So dead ass for real, it doesn't matter where you use it on. So let, let, let's just keep it about, right? So with that in mind, uh, me personally, it's a toss up between World 8 world 7 and world 6 for me i'm not farming world 9 because uh genuinely my 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 article my aircron she's pretty much good to go i have a pretty solid rope and i have a decent enough lightning damage sphere so i'm not gonna be bothering about Iz izumo anymore my world 7 could use a little bit of help so for my broken kill like did this i i don't have a single energy regeneration rope that has higher than four speed like this is my best energy regeneration rope even as of this day so i could use a little bit of row seven just to buff up my support a little bit because i feel like in this kind of scenarios it is about the best bang for your buck when it comes to stamina and for me i benefit from broken kill and i kind of benefit from Ruthland Arena as well. Because if you take a look at my attack percentage Ruthland Arena, uh, my double crit only has like this two, right? And both of them are not that great. This is like 20... 23. And this is like 26. So I could benefit from a better attack percentage Ruthland Arena. Um, and for my sphere, I could also benefit a little bit more. Point is basically, row 7, assuming that I do get something good, it will be good for either my support or my DPS that they are going to be using uh, Rutilin for. So I don't mind farming Bro 7 for myself personally. I have no speed at all actually for my Panicony. So this could get a little bit of a uh, improvement if I can say so myself. I, uh, basically, when it comes to energy rope in general, I have no good ER ropes to speed. These are the only three ER ropes I have that has speed. I could really, really use a good support ER rope. Pretty decent rope, I would say. This is... Okay, I mean, this is not that great. It's like 4 speed with 16% break effect. Um, we have 2 speed with some EHR. I mean, this could be on Black Zone for sure. And this is like a little bit more speed. Okay, this is actually... The, why, why am I even using this? Wait, okay, this is straight up just better, right? 15% EHR. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep this in case I use like triple DOT. From where it stands, these are like the two considerations. Um, And another alternative, if I really want to be an absolute fucking gambler, if I absolutely want to be a goddamn psychopath, is going to be World 6 Sao Soto. Uh, my Sao Soto pieces, genuinely, not great as well. Um, I have like one... It's not even decent. It's like, it's like okay-ish. In my opinion, any crit value pieces, they are considered decent if you have 30 crit value and above. So this is like one of my better ropes. It's like 30, 24. And this is like a... Rarity 20 but has 6 speed so I don't know who the hell can use this. These are like my only two ropes with with, with attack uh, double crit, right? Then this is 7 speed. I have no idea how hard I got this but it is what it is. Uh, we have a weird HP percentage rope with uh, crit rate and crit damage so this could see some use. Then we have a... Uh, and then the rest just it is what it is. Oh, this could roll 5 times into crit rate though. You know what? Let's just get out. Right, it just... Alright, if this rolls 5 times into crit rate, I'm done. Yourself. Then if I take a look at my sphere, if you take a look at the like double crit, I only have a fire damage boost which honestly is not that bad because it wrote 12% attack, so it's really not that bad. Uh, and the ice damage boost, which is uh, eh, it's pretty good so far, you know. Uh, Herta, Yanqing, you know, it's not that bad. So I would say my Sao Soto is also dangerously weak. My problem with farming Sao Soto is that whenever I get a battle box, it's just an automatic discard for me. It's the battle box is just completely useless. So uh, this will be the world with the lowest efficiency, but if I want to be an like absolute degenerate gambler, then I'll just be farming for Sao Soto because this will be the, this will give me the largest benefit when it comes to the DPS increase, but it's just that we are not going to be improving our supports whatsoever. So we were to, for example, get an ER or battle box, it's just completely useless because I'm not going to be using a battle box two-piece. Final verdict, Nah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be farming for Sao Soto because it's just a complete waste of stamina. It's like you're doing triple efficiency, but because you're doing world 6, it's a half efficiency. So instead of the usual 300%, you're only doing 150%, which just does not make sense. So it's either going to be world 7 versus world 8. Not because I need the DPS improvement, but I would need the support improvement because Q and, and Panacony, they're both like pretty decent support pieces and there's no way I'm farming world 3. It's, it's between 7 and 8. I guess just for broken Q itself, it could be really, really good. Uh, actually, what's my broken Q spheres? 
Let me see if we got any speed subs. Okay, we have a really good nine speed, and that's basically my best. Now we got a seven speed, and the rest is just like it doesn't really exist that much. So, uh, yeah, if we get like a if we get like a ten speed plus on broken Q or ten speed plus on pedicone, that would be really really good for my supports. And I guess just in terms of universal application, I would say World Seven is a little bit higher, just because you know broken Q can be very everyone. If you're gonna be putting for adventure, he's gonna be giving a fifty percent effect hit effect rest. So everybody can miss of Broken Q. Okay, chat. I think at this point, I am pretty much 90% logged in into World 7. Because whatever we get, Q or um, Rutilant, they can both be useful. You know? Chat, I wish myself all the best. I'm too old. That, that's why I can't really press E fast enough. But if you press E fast enough, it's like a lot faster. It's just that my fingers are too old. So... It looks like it's very slow, but you can definitely do it a lot, a lot faster. But it's just that it, it, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, get an auto clicker macro. I wish I, I I knew how to do that, but it is it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. All right, first row, ladies and gentlemen, for the first row, uh, may, maybe a, a Shuei piece. I don't know. May, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, speed subs are always good. Speed subs are always good. This is completely dog shit. Uh, what's this? Yeah, it is what it is. I already have a pretty decent HP with double crit, so I, I don't need this. So, all right, first redeem, absolutely nothing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, second redeem. Every single time I see a broken kill, it makes me happy because I know that if I were to farm row six, every single one of this would be better bog and I will kill myself in game, right? So excellent, excellent choice. Whenever I see this, what is this? Maybe you could find some use, like, you know, sub DPS in the future. I, I always, always lock double crits. I don't give a fuck what, they, what set they're on. If it's a double crit, I just lock them. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care, right? I don't care. Uh, this could be good. This could be good. This could be good. Nah, I'm good. Um, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, it's a four, right? It's a four stat. It's a four stat. It could roll like all in effect rest. We have like infinite effect rest, you know? You know what? I'm just gonna load this. I don't really want to toss four stats because they're four stats, you know? Maybe sometimes we don't even need speed, you know? Sometimes we don't even need, like for example, slow running. We could have a slow running equivalent in the future with a defense main stat with a rest. It could be good, right? Boop, and then we're, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're saving time. We're saving, we're, we're saving ridiculous amounts of time, right? So yeah, absolutely. I think that is a time is money in the, in the, in the real world where I come from, time is money, right? So we save a lot, a lot, a lot of time. So I would say you're losing money by not getting E6 Archon, right? I, you are losing money. Uh, and I, and I do value my time very, very, very well. So it, it is what it is, right? Right, let's see. Nope. Okay, maybe, you know, if it rolls crit. Uh, this could see some use. Okay, okay this, it's not good. If this rolls all in speed, I don't mind using this as an off piece. The 175 sparkle, the, our very relatable sparkle. 175 speed sparkle, 175 speed sparkle, yeah. And we just run this, if, if this all in speed. So I, I don't mind. Nah, nah, it's not good. It's not good. Okay, one more time. Attack double crit. Nah, I'm good. 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 Ooh! Okay, you know what? Usable, usable, usable. We could use this, we could use this. As long as it rolls all in speed, you know? We could use this. Oh, this could be good. It could improve our Scylla. Okay, if this rolls speed, attack with rest, could be good, pretty good. If this rolls speed. If I see a triple flat, it's like automatically dog shit unless the last time is a speed. Imagine if this was Bellabog. I'll kill myself. In game. Yucks. ER rope with speed? No, nope, that's not good. Okay, even though this is a four liner, it's just completely useless. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother. Effect rest, maybe, maybe. Effect rest, HP. HP and effect rest. Maybe. Maybe. It's a four liner, so I'm gonna. Okay, that's just not good. This could roll speed. Yeah, that, that could roll speed. Nah, that, that's not it. All right, that was not that great. Triple orb. Surely we get a double crit. Okay, it's possible, it's possible. Okay, if this goes all in crit rate, we're good. Five rolls in the crit rate, we're good. Fuck yourself. Speed and rest, I, 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 I will see what's up. Oh my God, nope. Oh, nope. Okay, if this goes all in crit damage, we are also good. 
If this goes all in great damage, we're also good, you know? Nope. Nope. Fuck. It is what it is. Some potential. Genuinely some potential. Still no ERO, by the way. I still didn't see a single ER rope. Oh God, I don't know how you guys, how the young people can click so fast. This is like as fast as I, 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 I can do it without like fucking me getting, getting a fucking like a stroke from spamming E. Uh, okay. Spamming E for Akron is useless. You have to time it correctly if you want to be as fast as possible. All right, I'm not going to learn all that. I'm just going to run and dash because I'm too old to learn all this kind of stuff. Average three time experience. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad yet. Because we haven't rolled them yet. We haven't rolled them, so it's not the end of the world until we roll them. Like, some pieces genuinely show potential. And because we are casting a white net that we're not only focusing on, like, our DPS, which I think quite a lot of players have made the mistake of using your triple stamina events on, like, half stamina efficient stages, such as row 6 or row 9. Because the other half is, like, completely fucking useless. You know what I'm saying? So... It is all about casting a white net to make the odds be in your favor as much as humanly possible. Even though the odds were never in your favor, as much as you can, just gain that slight edge to make you waste less stamina. I found World 9 for Arco and Herda. Okay, if you really, really wanted your Sigonia pieces, then I think it's fine. Like, if you really, really need a Sigonia. For me personally, Sigonia doesn't really do anything because, like, pure fiction as a mode is not competitive enough for us to warrant a, a whole ass new set. Yet, for now anyways. But in the future, if, it, if it's good, then it's good, right? So yeah. All right. What's this? Okay. Nah, I don't need this. I don't need this. I already have an attack percentage rope with like eight speed. So this is this kind of useless to me. So it is what it is. Nope. Rest and speed, I don't know, maybe. Oh my fucking God. This is, this is honestly not even a bad hope. Cause like, it's all defensive, right? HP, hit rate, effect rest. This honestly could be a decent like tank rope. That's a tank that doesn't need speed. So I'm just gonna save this for now. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Possible. Speed, 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 speed. Nope. Defense double crit. I don't know. Defense double crit. Nope. Got a 40 CV battle block attack up, and I don't care about stats over sets. Yeah, it, it is. It really is stats over sets. If you have a 40 CV attack up battle block, you just use it. But for your planner two piece, the sets matter more because Rutsilin Arena and Sao Soto, they give you 8% crit rate, which is by itself 16 crit value. So if you were to perform a complete a two piece for that, you are gaining additional 16 crit value. And then if you're doing Izumo, there's 24 crit value. That's why I will say that for your two piece, it's not as important as compared to your four piece. So as much as possible, I try to complete the two piece. Unless your other two piece, other plan is just so completely fucking dog shit, there is nowhere close to that 40 CV. Dude, check, can you imagine if I die here? Check, can you imagine if I die here? No way, right? There's no way I fucking die here, right? Yeah, I'm just built different. Yeah, I'm just built different. Nope. 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 Alright. Possible. Uh, unless this is an ER rope, we did as got zero ER ropes. Unless it's an ER rope, but let's see. It could roll speed. It's time to roll, right? We have a uh, 29 potential relic. We have 29. Wait, this is not 29, right? Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why is this? I'm so triggered by this. Why is this the rolls of nine? Is it a rolls of ten? Why? Why? Why is this possible? So we have a uh, 18 Sancho uh, RCT. We have 26 relics, right? We have 26 relics to. Alright, see what's up. Alright, first of all, are you gonna roll speed? If you're not gonna roll speed, then fuck off. Beautiful. Are you gonna roll speed or crit rate? You know what? I'll save it for next time. That's pretty good. Are you gonna roll crit damage? Are you gonna roll speed? Are you gonna roll crit damage? Are you gonna roll speed? Oh my fucking god. All in crit damage, you piece of fucking shit. Okay, this could be good. We're just gonna plus this instantly. And we'll see if it rolls speed. Or if I rest, they're both pretty good. Ideally speed though, because speed is like more of a condition for us. 
Okay, that's one. Do I see two? Res is not even that bad. Speed and res is not even that bad. Do I see three? Oh, it could be a sparkle piece. It could be a sparkle piece. It could be a, like they It could be a sparkle piece. No, I'm just saying. Speed. It could, it, could, it, it could be a sparkle piece, you know? It could be a sparkle piece, yeah. A sparkle with a tap. Yep, it could be a sparkle piece, you know? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I don't really want to roll this. It's not that important. Speed. All that would be worth it if this goes five rows to speed right here, right now. Emerge. All that would be worth it. It would all be worth it. It would all be fucking worth it. It would all be fucking worth it. Let's go. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine. We can give this to Pella. We have two more rows. We can still, this could still be a 10. This could still be a 10. <gasps> Blessings of where, where. I swear to fucking God, my man. Genuinely. Guess, just, just, just give me a 10. Just give me a... You know what? It's not that bad. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Honestly, it's still pretty fucking good. I'll give this to I'll give this to Pella. Like this. This is still pretty fucking good. It's fine. Honestly, it's like my it's like my best speed. You know what? We got one small W today. We got one small W today. Now are you gonna give me Oh my god. It's the triple flat into one line of speed. The more we feel, I'm out. 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 I'm absolutely out. All right, this doesn't matter that much. We're gonna see what what rolls here. Is this like straight up the speed, and then like that'll be pretty good. Okay, uh, at least we're out early. At least we're out. We don't waste any experience. At least we're out early. At least we are out early. So that's completely fine. Am I gonna get at least one double crit today? Am I gonna get one double crit today? Holy, you just trashed the double crit orb. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm about to, I'm about to cry. Okay. Uh, at least we're out early. At least we're out. Oh, we don't waste any experience. Am I gonna get... At, at least... At least... One... One... At least you're out early. I'm gonna get one... One double crit today. Arhar, Pokyoni sama. <laughs> oh seven. Bricked forever, oh seven. Think of it as an offering to bless your relic rolls. Always see the good side in things. Go 
Japan try in peace. Maybe. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this. Think about it this way. Alright. First of all, that crit, that you double crit. To get out early, right, Mark Park? That crit, that, that, that double crit piece, honestly. I have seen the future. It was never gonna roll the double crit anyways. It was just gonna roll it into four rows into defense. It was never gonna roll into... So honestly, there was no loss there. Uh, in fact, it's, it just saved us a lot of Relic experience because if we were to bring that double crit piece of plus 15, it would have just been disappointment after disappointment. So honestly... <laughs> Stand back! Yep, I'm, I'm about good. to unleash my true potential! No, no, no. Cop, 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 copium! Mindy, I, I, I do have the ability to, to see things into the future. So I know that the double crit please wouldn't have been anything anyways. So, yep. Uh, with that, we've come to the end of uh, today's content. Uh, if you guys want to uh, engage in any further discussions, leave down in the comments below. Uh, or you can hop on to the Discord at discord.g for this Pokies video if you are very active to comment to know my comments are on a daily basis, right? But I can't my stream that's going to be Twitch.tv for some Pokies on YouTube for some Pokies. I'll be streaming every single day and I'll be on the Discord as well, right? So that's all I have for today. All the best for your Reddit Rose. All the best for your 3 times stamina event. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.